Easy scalp. I will take $600 in two minutes any day. This is why I'm surviving this morning. So I took UVXY calls yesterday and I took uh, Home Depot puts because we talked about how Home Depot was most likely gonna have a hard time keeping up with a uh, forecast and sales. So these I got at 300, uh, I sold for 650. Uh, and these UVXYs I got for 90, I sold for 152 just now at open. They sold almost immediately. Uh, all right, we have gapped uh, Walmart. Uh, let's see if this plays out. I'm gonna play a swing here on Walmart. T-Mobile, I'm adding to the Buy the Dip Bitch ETF. Uh, Home Depot, I'm already out of. I probably sold a little too early, but shit happens. Uh, what else do we have moving right now? Okay, Walmart calls are flying now. All right, they're flying. Good, 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 good. This is gonna save my ass today. Holy shit, they're at 200 apiece already? What? Okay. Oh, okay, okay, that, whoa. Okay, I think I'm gonna, whoa. Okay, um, 220? No fucking way. No fucking way, I'm gonna be green this early? Wow, that is, uh, okay, time to, uh, Time to get rid of these. Um, that's f almost 50%. And we're going green. Oh, <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh my God. Uh, no, I don't want to get greedy today. This market is, is, is fucking hurting. God damn, I sold those ho uh, Home Depot puts too early. What are they at right now? Oh my God, they're 865 a piece. Uh, no, I'm not gonna play MU again. I played MU weeklies twice now, and both three times now, and all three paid out uh, off of the dip in the morning, um, and then riding it back up. But you know, you, you play something too many times, you get burnt. Yeah. Will HD recover? Yes, HD will recover. Uh, the problem was is that exactly the same. The reason that I took puts was that it just the valuation uh, based on all of the do-it-yourself stuff and all of uh, all of the um, stay-at-home stuff. And then yesterday we talked about how for the first time since COVID, beginning of COVID, that uh, contractors were making up more sales than do-it-yourself and, and single sales. And so that made me what take puts. SCSN, I sold all my SCSN for a loss yesterday because I didn't want to hold overnight waiting for the dead cat bounce. I guess I was one day, uh, one day early on this. One day early. I was right, but I was a day early. Damn. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Damn! Oh! You hate to see it. Today is gonna be a meme stock day, I feel like. Let's take a look, let's see. AMC. Gonna be a meme day. Get ready for the meme day, boys. I'm green, fucking Walmart took me big green this morning, holy shit. Ooh, ooh, I can't get greedy, cannot get greedy. Alright, 50% uh, has been hit, guys. I'm out. I'm getting out. 50% um, this morning. Alright, out at 250. Easy, 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 easy. Let's go ahead and update this. Alright, that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a good morning. That is a good morning right there. Only 50%? How did mine perform better? You probably got something cl closer to the money or uh, further out of the money, but that moved quicker. All right, that will say, oh no! I ain't fucking with it today. I ain't fucking with it today. All right, what's the next play? Uh, what do we wanna jump into? We wanna go into Fubo. Fubo on a scalp here. All right, so uh, I'm gonna add, like I said, T-Mobile to the Buy the Dip Bitch ETF. Um, Spy already breaking below the gap did not hold the gap yet. I'm out of Walmart. So we'll see how that plays out. Fuck, Walmart's still going too. Son of a bitch. Man, I went from being down 0.76% to being up 1.5%. This is the kind of day where I don't want to get greedy. Holy shit. Isn't Walmart long-term hold? Yeah, 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 I have Walmart shares long-term hold, but I played uh, a call this morning because when we talked about it in the morning call this morning, we talked about um, uh, if there was any type of support or even flatline on the market, I was expecting it to move. Um, so uh, I, I jumped in. All right, out, okay, done. Easy, easy, easy. Easy scalp. I will take $600 in two minutes any day. And of course I sold way too early. There you go. In at 9.51 and one minute and 45 seconds later, 600 bucks. I'll take it. 
But it's going to run now. I had to take it. There was too much volume for me not to take that. Too much volume for me to not play that. I just go where the money is. All right. Spy is dipping still. Uh, AMC going to make a run maybe. We'll see. Yeah, dude. Locking in gains is, is so important. I mean, sure. You see one run every now and then. But those Walmart calls, even though I sold here, are lower here because it's flatlining. Fubo. I sold here and it's already fallen. You gotta lock in your gains, and you gotta take you gotta take your losses like a man or a woman. You know what I mean? Um, just like uh, yesterday, I sold these at 135 yesterday, and it was unfortunate, right? I took a small loss on it, and today, you know, where are we at today? I sold uh, 2,700 shares at 135. My average in was 140, so I lost 140 dollars on it. Um, you know, and then today it bounced. It, it happens. You know, you, you have to you have to just roll with the punches. Um, a lot of you guys say, Stocky, you always talk about what, you know, your trading journal and, and your thought process and what went right or wrong when you win. But what about when you lose? Well, I can tell you exactly what happened. So yesterday um, I looked at this sell off on I played SES, uh, SESN after hours on Friday after this massive drop. And I made a couple hundred bucks. Right. Uh, uh, on the after hours. So then yesterday, I was expecting the dead cat bounce, right? I was expecting that dead cat bounce to happen. So I got in, and there was a little bit of a bounce. It got up to like 143, and I was positive, uh, but I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't lock in the gains because it didn't hit my upside, and my downside was 135 on um, stop loss. So uh, it hit my stop loss, and that just is that's just how it goes, right? Uh, I was expecting a dead cat bounce. I expected way too many people to be so balls deep in this thing that they were going to have. Just like with Wish the other day when we played it, um, people are balls deep. Retail traders, memers are balls deep. So when something like this happens, they've got a couple options. Either A, they buy more to DCA down, or B, people who didn't get in are going to be like, oh, it's on sale now, so I'm going to jump in. So I expected that to happen yesterday, just like what happened with Wish on Friday. It did not. I was disciplined. I hit my stop loss, and I got out. And now today it's up 30%. Shit happens. So this is what I was expecting to happen yesterday, and it's happening today. But it hit my stop loss, and I had to get out. So that right there is what, what happened with a loss that I took, how it happened, why I went into the play, what the result of the play was, and, um, and, and, and what the outcome was. Now, you know, these are going to happen, and now it's up. 32%. Now, I know some of you guys <clears throat> held your shares overnight and you're selling today. You guys are crazy because if you bought at any point yesterday outside of the end of the day, you were down probably 10% at some point. So you're crazy. You're crazy. See that Fubo sell? See that Fubo sell right there? Both Walmart and Fubo did not get greedy. Oh my god, SESN is going to go for two bucks today. Are you shitting me right now? I'm not playing it again. Fuck that. I'm not playing it again. All right, where are we? All right, Fubo, like I said, 28.30. Let's see if it gets there. It just hit 28.19. Uh, Walmart going to probably make another trek to the upside again, but I will not play the same play twice. At some point, you get greedy. And you end up getting emotional. And then you get wrecked. No, 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 no. Don't go all in. What do you mean go all in on Spy Weeklies? No. HD puts, I already sold my Home Depot puts at open for 100%. Uh, and then it went to $900 a piece. But that was a good play. I also took UVXY calls overnight. Sold those for uh, 75%. Obviously, I sold both too early, but I locked in the gains. Uh, then I grabbed Walmart and sold that for about 80% there. And then um, Fubo, I just grabbed $600 in a minute and 45 seconds. So everything else uh, played out pretty well this morning. What made you think UVXY would be a win? Um, between the Taliban thing, um, uh, what's we call it? Uh, Biden talking after hours and China continuing to just fucking do everything terribly. I was expecting the, uh, the, the, the Asian markets to dip, which would bleed over the U.S. markets and have a, uh, uh, an effect just like yesterday. All right. Shit, shit, shit. This is the kind of day where you get greedy, you lose everything after having a big morning. I've done that before. I've, got, I've done it before where I've had a huge morning and then I got a little greedy, took an extra play during the end of the day, and gave it all back. And I don't want to do that today. Saki, I need a YOLO. I'm in a YOLO right now, and I'm, I'm actually um, embarrassed about it, so I'm not going to tell you about it. Yes, I took AMC calls. Don't, don't. <laughs> I really don't want to. 
I shouldn't tell you guys this shit. It's just a small play. I'm just playing the the volume that's 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 jumping in with everybody else. Do as he says, not as he does, chat. Well, no, I mean you're being an asshole, but no, what I meant is is uh is that I I I'm I've been doing this a while. If you're not used to doing these things, then don't because you don't set stop losses, you end up getting fucking wrecked. And then you can't afford to sub, you leave the channel, you unfollow. When am I selling AMC? If you're asking me that, then uh you sh you 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 need to you need to figure it out. Oh fuck, my AMC calls just went crazy. I wasn't even paying attention during my speech. Jesus Christ. And then it just gave it back. Son of a bitch. All right, 10% already on AMC, so I'm going to go ahead and sell those now. All right, $6 from my AMC sell, and that will be a six for six day. Okay, out of AMC, done. All right, very, uh, very quick scalp on these and out. So, uh, got in for an average of 130, sold for 160. So that's what, uh, 11, that's uh, 20 contracts at 30 a piece. So 600 bucks on that one, so. So we sold uh, VIX calls for a W, HD puts for a W, Walmart calls for a W, uh, Fubo for a W, AMC for a W. So that's been a good morning. All right. Oh, come on. No, 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 not like this. No, hold on, bro. You're six for six today. You can't be upset at anything from here on out. I mean, I'm not, I'm never upset, dude. I, I just, I do this, I try to, I, what I do is, is on days like today, what I like to do is, same thing I did yesterday, when I have winning plays in the morning, uh, on a red day, I like to take that money and buy, uh, buy dips on my long-term equities that are red. So, like, for example, yesterday, I picked up a couple shares of MO, uh, today, I'm gonna buy a couple shares of, um, uh, where is it, uh, Starbucks. Uh, and, um, what's the other one I'm gonna buy today? Starbucks and, uh, uh, Disney. So I'm gonna buy the shares with that. Yeah, so I played, uh, MU midday, uh, or after the, the morning, uh, dip, uh, uh, I've played, uh, MU, uh, weeklies a bunch. Fubo's still running, by the way, uh, and not do. Oh, you know what? I might play Baba here. While the market's bouncing, and then play a scalp on it. Let's see. It's starting to set up here. I think there's going to be another dip here, but yeah, MU has been a great um, uh, day trade uh, for the last uh, for the last week, crushing it with uh, with MU uh, weeklies uh, on the dips in the morning. These these weeklies this morning are now up 125 percent. Did you take Baba? Yeah, just a, just a couple, but I'm only scalping. I'm not staying in long. This will probably be my last play of the day. Oh my God, AMC is running. Oh, this is killing me. 190 a piece now. Did I take, yeah, yeah, I took Baba, I took Baba. Uh, I'm about to get out. I already hit 10% in uh, three minutes. So, uh, sorry, 12% in three minutes now. Holy shit, 195 on Baba now? Wait, this wasn't supposed to move this fast. 198? Okay, I'll take it. I am 205 on Baba now. Fucking great buy time. All right, that is 20% in four minutes. Time to walk the fuck away. My tax guy's gonna kill me this year. Now, I use options to make money in the morning and then use that money to buy the dips on my equities. 207 on Baba. What the fuck? How did this move so fast? I wasn't expecting this kind of move yet. Oh, fuck you, AMC. Bro, these contracts are $210 a piece. I sold 30 contracts 12 minutes, 11 minutes ago, and 50 times starts, 1,500 bucks. What a shit. Ah, whatever. Look at that move on Baba. Look at that volume right there. Please tell me you held Baba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I've got a sell order in right now um, and a stop loss. I'm up 30% uh, on these contracts. I took a smaller position on this one than I did the other ones because this was a little bit more volatile, but uh, here you go. Yeah, AMC, I sold too early. That's all right. I made a good profit on it, though. This this market is very volatile right now, so um, getting greedy in this market right now is is a, is a one-way ticket to fucking disaster. Sorry, guys. I'm really into my trading right now, so if, if, I, if I zone out for a minute, this will be the last trade of the day. I don't care what else I see um, because uh, I, I, I there's just no way I'm willing to uh, to get fucked over on a good day. Not get fucked over. Fuck myself over.
Don't ever put blame on somebody else. If you're in, if you're doing good and then you get greedy, it's on you. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get out of Baba here because here's the thing. MAs are crossing to the downside on Spy here. Crypto is holding. All right, I cut my sell order down a little bit because I want to walk away before this market turns on me. Jesus Christ, what a day. Holy shit, seven for seven in the first hour. And I'm sure I left probably 50% more profit on the table, but I don't have the anxiety now. A lot of action on Baba. Look at look, look at this price action on each candle. That's a sell wall if I've ever seen one, though. Holy shit. MA is crossing to the downside. Momentum slipping. Volume slipping. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna walk right here. See how see how we're starting to turn here and all the MAs are going away? That's the out right there. Holy shit, I'm up 3.9%. What the fuck? I just blacked out over the last hour. I've just been in the zone for an hour. I just like blacked out. That was some Rain Man type stuff. I don't even know what just happened. I literally just blanked out for the last hour. All right, I'm done. Whew! Uh, the only thing Alan, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait till end of day to add T-Mobile to the Buy the Dip Bitch ETF. Uh, grab a couple Disney shares. Uh, might buy one or two Microsoft shares on this dip as well. And uh, Starbucks I missed. Oh. Man, I, I literally fucking just looked blacked out for the last hour. <laughs> I'm literally, I'm literally, it was a, I don't even know what just happened. Like, I was, I went into stocky zone and like, just was like, and just totally fucking blacked out. Yo, good sell on Baba. Yeah. As soon as those indicators showed me weakness, I had to get out. Sell wall, volume dipping, MA's crossing, uh, momentum starting to dip, volume down. It was time for me to go. Now, it doesn't mean it's dead for the day, but just on the one minute chart, that was time for me to get going. Why do you tell people not to play options if that's all you do? That's not all I do. That's how I trade in the morning to 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 basically, because remember, instead of making money outside of this and then using it in my equities, I use this to make money to buy equities with. It's, uh, for real though, MU looks like it might take off here in a little bit. Might actually take off a little bit here, uh, to be honest with you guys. Uh, SPY is dipping. A uh, little bit of consolidation on the bottom here with good volume, but MU has held 70. And I have played MU weeklies three times this week. Uh, almost played it a fourth time. They went up 135% this morning. There might be another play here. Technicals are looking pretty strong on the one minute. We got a uh, MA cross about to happen. We got some decent volume. Uh, we did not dip too much on the MACD. Uh, momentum is to the upside. These MAs are crossed as well on the five minute chart. Uh, we're also looking pretty bullish. The MACD is coming back into a buy momentum and these MAs are crossing as well. So if SPY doesn't dip again here, we might have a little run coming in. Might have a little run coming in. Matter of fact, you know what? You know what? No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, there we go. Money in the bank. <laughs> I'm gonna sell. I made 40 bucks on that candle. I'm gonna get out. Oh, wait, never mind. I know I said I wasn't going to take any more plays today after going six for six this morning, but uh, they're 123 now. Nice. Nice. 124. It's 100 bucks. 100 bucks on, two can on one candle. I'll take it. MU is holding. I'm watching it. It's holding. It's holding. It, it actually held higher than 70. It's a, it's a higher low this time, even with the market down. Look at that sell earlier on Baba. That was fucking clutch, guys. That was clutch. When we saw that and we got out right there, that was fucking clutch. I'm, I'm worried that Target might have a similar uh, issue that uh, Home Depot did. But with this dip on Target, it might actually put it in play for earnings. Because their last earnings, we were sitting at 204 and then it's run since then. So there's a lot of cool off potential. Um but this dip might actually bring value to it. So that's actually interesting. I only took one target call and that's all I'm gonna play. I am not gonna play more than one. This is a complete fucking YOLO that I'm playing with uh, with free money. Well, not free money, with house money that I got today. Um, just for a little fun, fun little play through earnings. Uh, I got a September 3rd, 255. So pretty close well, to the money, uh, to far the enough point out point. that uh, there's almost no theta. Uh, theta's 23 on this. So like, what? 3% and implied volatility is only 36%. Not bad. So I'm going to try and run this one. I'm up 40 bucks on it here. I mean, if for some reason I'm up 35% before in the day, then I'll, I'll fucking sell it. But uh, I don't know. I just have some fun. Just having a little fun with it. 
Uh, by the way, guys, very, very good trading day today. It was absolutely amazing. Six for six today. Uh, really, really good trading. Um, two were overnight HD puts, UVXY calls. Uh, a little recap for those of you guys who weren't here earlier. Uh, these were the overnight plays that were sold. Then we jumped on Walmart after the morning call talking about their earnings. Uh, almost, uh, almost 100%. Actually, over 100% on those. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Not over 100%. Uh, 65% or 70%, something like that. Um, then we had, uh, I bought one target call that I might hold overnight, but I'll probably sell before end of day because it was, uh, because, uh, because it's, uh, it's already up 10%. If it's up 20 to 25% by end of day, I'll just sell it. I don't want to uh, take the risk overnight. However, if I do, I did take something that has very low theta and very low implied volatility. So uh, even if it, flat lines or barely moves. I won't get wrecked on it, uh, but we'll see. Uh, AMC also made a nice play on AMC. Got in for an average of 130, sold for 160. Welcome, CPT, uh, that was a 20% gain, and then it went to 200 and something. And, I haven't been and then uh, got into Baba, and then made a nice hearts. little play on Baba, and then uh, MU got in, got out as well. Uh, that we uh, got out at 125, so we did really, really well on those today. Uh, I am buying shares uh, on the dips of a couple things uh, end of day today. To For those day asking day. about my so buy the dip bitch ETF, it is T-Mobile. Uh, I think T-Mobile. Now, obviously, if the market completely collapses or continues to fall down over the next coming days, it won't matter. But if the market is stable, I think that the overreaction on the, uh, well, rightful reaction, but in a bull market, overreaction on the data hack and breach uh, that has caused them to drop significantly brings it a great buying opportunity opportunity similar play we did on outrage culture and uh pr nightmares with uh capital one when they had their big breach dropped like eight percent we all played it shares went up and gapped in two days options went up a thousand percent in two days i don't know if it's going to do the same uh because this market is obviously very choppy but uh <clears throat> that is what i'm adding to the buy the dip bitch etf today okay